Ciao a tutti! Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Guess what we're going to be talking about today? Does the little Christmas tree, Santa and Ronnie la Renna give you a hint? Yes, we're talking about Christmas because tomorrow it's Christmas, right? So today is Christmas Eve, la vigilia di Natale, the day before. So um, I wanted to give you a quick video with some vocabulary related to Christmas. And I wanted to finish off this little video with something very cute. It's a poem that my three-year-old daughter, Emma, taught me. Uh, and it's a very cute little Christmas poem that has lots of Christmas vocabulary in it. Um, I thought it'd be cute to also say it to you. And it would be really nice if you could uh, also try to memorize it and say it. If you're interested, and if you want to do this, um, send me the video of you saying this poem. I will edit the video and I will put it on YouTube. Um, it'd be really cute if we had a video of all of us saying this poem, obviously if you want to, okay? No pressure. Let's start by talking about two important desserts that you will always find in an Italian's house for Christmas. The desserts are il panettone or il pandoro. Panettone is a typical dessert of Milan, okay? You should be able to find it year long because it's actually the dessert of the city of Milan, but it's super popular throughout the Christmas season. Um, it's super yummy, I think, uh, very buttery, lots of butter in there. Um, it has raisins and it has also like little dried candied fruit. So some people don't really like it because they don't like raisins and the fruit inside, but I find it quite tasty. You do have all the other options like chocolate covered or pistachio covered uh, or almond covered. I mean, you have lots of different options, but the classic one is with raisins and um, candied fruit. The other option is Pandoro. The origins of Pandoro are in Venice, so it's another regional dessert. Pandoro is very, uh, it's very simple. Uh, if you cut it inside, it has nothing. It, has, it doesn't have chocolate, it doesn't have uh, raisins or anything else. Uh, it has a beautiful shape, looks almost like a star. And it's, it's um, usually when you buy it, you uh, open it up, you put powdered sugar inside the bag, you shake the bag, and all the powdered sugar goes all over the pandoro and gives you an extra sweet taste to it. Very lovely. In Italy, there are people who hate panettone and only eat pandoro or vice versa, okay? So there is really a big dilemma on which one wins during Christmas. I personally like both, really. Uh, children usually prefer pandoro and the adults usually prefer panettone. Another very yummy uh, dessert that you find basically in all of the households is what we call torrone. Torrone is um, a very yummy, super sweet, uh, meringue tasting candy. You can find it in big blocks or in small little candy. Um, the small ones are called torroncini and you can have them pistachio, orange, uh, chocolate flavors, all different kinds of flavors. Throughout Italy, you have different types of torrone. You can have the soft one or you can have the hard one and they're all equally yummy, trust me. We usually celebrate when we eat these and we usually drink uh, moscato, a wine or uno spumante if it's something more special. I'm not going to go into detail of what all the Italians eat during Christmas because um, each family and each region has a completely different tradition. Um, so for example, we in the north, I live in Lombardy, we usually celebrate on the 25th, so on Christmas Day, il giorno di Natale, we don't celebrate on the 24th while in the south it's more common to celebrate during what we call la vigilia di natale so the day before christmas i will celebrate tomorrow on the 25th 
and I for sure will have some panettone mm -mm, and maybe a torrone. Okay, so let's talk about some vocabulary that is not related to food. We have l'albero di Natale. You can see behind me, I have my Christmas tree up. On the Christmas tree, you have i decori di Natale o gli addobbi di Natale. Ci sono le palline di Natale e le luci di Natale. Sulla punta, on the top of the Christmas tree, c'è il puntale. I know that I don't have one. I have like a decoration on top, but um, I was too lazy to buy one. I will need, I will get myself one for next year. Underneath the Christmas tree, and there aren't any right now because Santa hasn't arrived yet, we will find on the 25th i regali or i doni. These are the Christmas gifts. Who will bring them to our house? Babbo Natale. Babbo Natale is Santa Claus. And usually Babbo Natale comes con la slitta, con l'aiuto delle renne. Since Italy is Catholic, um, we usually have a double option. We say that Santa Claus comes and brings gifts, or we have baby Jesus who brings us gifts. So you can say that Babbo Natale ci porta i doni or Gesù Bambino porta i doni. So we have this double option. Some people like it to be more, um, let's say, religious and others don't. So you can choose either Babbo Natale or Gesù Bambino. In almost every Italian household, we usually have what is called il presepe. Il presepe is the nativity scene. So you usually have at least Maria, Giuseppe e Gesù. E sopra il presepe la stella cometa. Okay, so this was it for the little Christmas vocabulary. And here's a little poem. I hope you enjoy it. Con la slitta tra le stelle, Babbo Natale porta cose belle. Poi scendendo dal camino, ti consegna un regalino. Guarda bene, è speciale. Sono i miei auguri di Buon Natale. Buon Natale a tutti! Un bacione, auguri, ciao!